Alright guys, before we get into the main part of the video here, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a background on their main advantages of smart proxies. So when you generate like their proxies, especially the residentials, which you'll see a little bit later in the video, that you can generate up to 30 minutes for sticky, like sticky sessions, that's how long they are, up to 30 minutes, um, which is you know good for us when you're running sticky proxies, obviously you want to have a longer session so that way your proxies don't get rotated and banned. Um, they also have over 195 geolocations to choose from. As you can see right here, we got locations. There's a bunch in there. Like obviously all locations, they have some uh, done by countries and stuff like that. Uh, when you generate their proxies, like especially their residentials, they have over 40 million residential proxies that you can like you know generate from. So their pools are huge, and it's not limited to like you know a couple million or something like that, where they have a higher chance of getting banned. Obviously, you know, the pricing, pricing is good for residential plans. We're about at $15 a gigabyte, but you know, if you use my code and stuff like that, you guys save money. Or if you buy larger packages, you also save more money on that. And then obviously they have, you know, support chats and stuff like that. So if you guys ever have like questions or stuff like that, it's easy to access. As you can see right down here in this corner, there's a little like robot looking thing that pops up. And you can click on that and then you can ask your questions and stuff like that and they'll have people that will help you and then they also have a browser tool it's called x browser it's a tool that like is used for creating like multiple like you know profiles and stuff like that mainly like proxy profiles not 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 the profiles we're really thinking of but and so you can use it in your browser to like create a proxy and access like for example if you're banned on somewhere you could use that x browser and it'll give you a proxy into your browser so that way you can access the site and stuff like that so like you know if you get banned on easy supply or something like that you could use the x browser and just switch your proxy and then you'd be fine so well, yeah, i just want to touch on that stuff before before i got into the main part of the video here so i'll let you guys get into that now what's going on people you know it's your boy burger here we're back again with another video uh in today's video we're going to be doing a little like rundown and overview of smart proxy yes the company smart proxy you guys probably know who they are know their proxies and stuff like that because you know they're used a lot in the sneaker bottom world and stuff like that but i wanted to give you guys like a rundown of everything how the site works how you can generate their proxies and stuff like that if you guys are interested in buying and i'll have a link down in the description for it so you know you guys can use that link you guys want to buy stuff i also have a special discount code which will also be in the description i'll also post it on the screen right now yep use that code you'll save 15 percent when buying obviously you know it helps your boy burger out so i would greatly appreciate it but yeah so i'll have the code and the link in the description you just click that link will bring you to the product you can use that code when checking out and you'll save 15 percent so um yeah let's get into this right now Obviously, we're on the Smart Proxy website, obviously, smartproxy.com. As you know, I'll leave that in the description, too, so you guys can, you know, get to the site. But as you know, we're on the homepage right now, Proxy Result Limits. You know, we got a bunch of tabs up here, solutions. They have residential data centers, search engine, X browser, Chrome extensions, Firefox, and Proxy address generator. The prices here, they have all their price breakdown. You can use their proxies. They have a bunch of different things. Obviously, we're all going to be using it for this bad boy right here, sneakers. You know, you may use it for Shopify, maybe, I don't know, probably just stick with their sneaker ones because that's what we're using for. They have a bunch of locations. There's like 195 different, you know, areas that you can generate from, which is kind of crazy, and over 40 million IP pools to pull IPs from. And obviously you have your resources here, you know, you can go through all this stuff, check it out. And then about their proxy, you can click all this stuff, finding all that. So I'm assuming none of you guys have an account. So obviously you would click here, create an account. I already have an account, so I'm not really going to show you that. But yeah, you just click create an account. It'll walk you through the steps on how to do it. And then once you get there, you'll be able to access like a dashboard. It'll be up here. Like so, let's say you create your account. You can either just reload the page, or if it leaves you on the you know the, the page with your account logged in, you can access the dashboard up here. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to click access dashboard. Log me in. Obviously, you know, shout out Burgers Kicks, your boy. So this is where it brings you. I'm obviously gonna have to blur this out because you know it's your boy's address and you know my IP. Don't need you guys, you know, doxing me. But as you know, we're on the Smart Proxy dashboard right here. So we got over here. We got welcome. We got pricing. Pricing is right here. They have they have three different tiers of it. They have regular, which is like you know just regular use, 
enterprise what you know is a lot more you, but you get more for it like so you're buying 100 gigs at a time or 250 or 500 or a thousand and then they have the reseller package so you know if you're trying to you know resell these proxies which you know some people do that's what they do you can buy all that they have them here obviously certain types of prices and amount of gigabytes you get and stuff like that they also have data center proxies right here data centers don't have any of that other other stuff they just have you know the four breakdowns right here and they also have search engine proxies which i don't think we'll be using too much as you know sneaker botters we're not gonna you know focus on search engines that's not what we usually do so we're going to be sticking between these residentials and the data center proxies probably residentials to be honest um but yeah so like obviously you know they have these regular plans right here the micro starter regular those are the plans a lot of people start with because obviously you know you're not putting down a whole lot and you get like five or 20 gigs like most people don't go through 20 gigs in a month so you're probably honestly better off buying like five gigs to start and then go from there unless you obviously know you know you're gonna burn through 20 30 gigs a, a drop then i would obviously buy more so we have that we have the pricing the welcome tab obviously over here we got the authentication method you can create your own user pass that you want to use for the proxies or you can add your ip and use an ip auth obviously i have my ip added which you know i'm gonna have to blur out but um yeah so you can create your own own password obviously mine says burgers but that's my username and then my password is obviously you know something you guys cannot find because you know it's it's top secret understand that it's top secret just know that it's top secret boys don't try and steal my password because you're not getting my stuff they're my proxies so back off okay so yeah so we have authentication method here obviously you know ip auth user pass you guys are we're all familiar with that stuff that's how all proxies are data centers obviously you'd have to have a subscription i do not have a subscription for data centers Alrighty, so we're going to gen some proxies here obviously we're back on the authentication method right here with your user pass so like you'd have your username mine's burgers obviously you would have your password you would put that same exact password in the endpoint generator so like here i just put kicks one two four so like you would put that in the uh, the password section right here you keep this the same as what you'd have in the authentication method otherwise you know the proxies won't work and stuff like that obviously ips will be fine like ip off but you have to make sure that you have the same exact one that you have in the authentication method in the endpoint generator otherwise they won't work so just make sure you guys do that obviously you know we're going to gen these now we're going to go usa we're going to do sticky 30 minutes we're going to do 100 of them we're going to copy the clipboard post them in wrath and we're going to delete all these that we have save as you see, we got our smart user pass proxies right here. We're going to ping them all. We're going to test them. We're going to ping them to Shopify. How about that? Check how they are in Shopify. Look at them. They all ping. All speeds under 1,000. That's pretty good for Shopify, as you guys know. Oh, we have one bad one. Bam. So you just delete that. That was the only bad one that I saw. Obviously, you know, proxies are residential proxies are always need to be filtered if you're gonna use them for stuff like that so that was how you do like the user pass now if we didn't do the ip auth we just go back to this and instead of you know clicking username we click any location ip from your list make sure you put it in with the authentication method it's in there so you go from there obviously you'll leave everything exactly the same and then you'll just copy the clipboard again we're gonna make a new list Oops. smart ip auth oops okay so we have ip auth right now we'll ping these we'll also ping those to shopify obviously you see they're all pinging ip auth proxies work great in most bots uh they usually are better than user pass for some reason i don't know why whenever i use proxies and have success it's always the ip auth ones that hit for me more so um yeah here here are the ip auth ones obviously all they they all pinged obviously you're gonna have some high ones like this one you know it just happens that's how residential proxies are so you guys know obviously obviously filter them out if we're gonna be running foot sites and stuff like that obviously you're gonna gen thousands of proxies and stuff like that so those those ones with like the 5,000 speed or they're not really that big of a deal because you're gonna have thousands and thousands of proxies 
But um, yeah, that's basically it for this video. It's a little rundown and overview of smart proxies, how to use them, how to generate them, you know, stuff like that. There are different features that they have. And then obviously, you know, how to import them into a bot and use them. Obviously, you know, importing into a bot and stuff like that is mainly, you know, I guess neutral ground for us. We know that stuff. We're already familiar with it. So that's really not the hard part. But I guess once you navigate the dashboard, fine, which obviously I said earlier, it's extremely easy, easy extremely easy to navigate once you do that you know obviously it's easy you know you can just easily generate your proxies from right here and they generate fairly quick and they're good so um yeah remember i'm gonna leave the link in the description go go, go click it use it i'll also leave the discount code there i'll also pop it up on the screen once again it's right there so uh, yeah you guys can go use that make sure you use it when you're checking out you save 15 percent off and yeah i'll leave all that stuff in the description link the link to this the actual site my referral link and your my discount codes you guys can save so uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed remember i love you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video figure out boys peace